This is the Yellow Garden Spider, a massive, brightly colored and overall intimidating species of arachnid that, if you live anywhere in North America, has probably shown itself in your own backyard. You might have come face to face with this scary looking arachnid at one point while gardening or taking a walk around the neighborhood, but are these giant eight-legged predators as dangerous as they appear? I'm Mikey Green, and my goal is to show just how little we really know about the strange creatures living their hidden lives all around us. Where we are right now, in South Florida, the huge yellow garden spider is actually quite rare to come across and is heavily outnumbered by the other smaller species of garden spiders, which have proven to be quite abundant in the sandy scrub ecosystem. This beautiful spider that is sitting right in the middle of its web right here is a gorgeous Florida garden spider or Argaipi Florida. Now this amazing looking garden spider might not look exactly giant to you by any means. And that is because this is actually one of the smaller species. And while overall in the grand scheme of North America, this is one of the rarest Argaipi species to come across, here in this well-preserved Florida scrub environment, this is actually the most common species to come across. And while I know for sure we're probably gonna see a ton more of these Argaipi Florida, mixed in within these spiders are some species of garden spider that get much larger in size so let's keep looking for an even larger garden spider than this one. And I was exactly right. At every few footsteps was a web of one of these Florida garden spiders. But I kept pushing on, knowing that somewhere in this general area was the largest and most infamous of all the North American garden spiders. And soon enough, I noticed the shape of one of these impressive invertebrates. Let's take a look. All right, this right here is a species of spider that I have been looking for for so long, you wouldn't believe. And that might sound kind of funny because this is one of the most common species of spider to be found in and around people's backyards. This is the black and yellow garden spider, or Argaipi arantia, an extremely large species of orb-weaving spider that can be found here in North America. Now through much of North America, Argaipi arantia is one of the most common species to be found in people's backyards. And its large size, menacing appearance, and bright colorations might lead you to think that this is a dangerous species of spider. But as you can see, with it walking all around me, these spiders mean absolutely no harm to humans. And they have some of the most interesting biology of any spiders that you could find out here. Now in South Florida, these are much less common in urban areas. There are other Argaipi species that are more common that take place of their niche here in South Florida. So seeing this species, this absolutely gorgeous black and yellow garden spider is an absolute treat here in South Florida. In fact, I am actually far from being in an urbanized area. We are in the middle of some extremely well-preserved and almost completely untouched Florida scrub habitat, which is a dry and sandy kind of habitat here in Florida with lots of short shrubs and pine trees. Among these scrub dwellers are species like the rare red widow spider, as well as Argaipi Florida, the Florida garden spider, which we've seen quite a few of already. These massive spiders build even more massive webs. This one's spanning across multiple different plants. And you might have noticed the weird little squiggle pattern in the middle. That is called a stabilimentum. It's a non-sticky, extremely dense silk that they make in a zigzag pattern right where they sit in the middle of their web waiting for prey. Now the exact use of this stabilimentum is actually unknown to science. However, a really interesting idea proposed is that they actually can reflect UV light, which during nighttime where there's not too much light out can draw the attention of flying insects. Insects flying around will naturally fly, especially during nighttime, to the nearest light source. It's thought that these spiders actually take advantage of this instinct and the stabilimentum is highly reflective, leading to insects being drawn into their webs. Now, as far as I'm aware, this proposal hasn't been confirmed and there are a few extra explanations for potentially what that strange zigzag pattern in the middle of their web can be used for, such as providing stabilization in the web or assisting in the spider's ability to tell where things have created vibrations in their webs. Either way, no matter what, that structure is an extremely distinctive trait of the webs of these Argaipi spiders. And it's just a really interesting mystery of these very common spiders that has yet to be solved. 
Just like any other orb-breathing spider, this species is venomous. But don't be scared by that because they are completely harmless. Not only are they not inclined to bite, as you can see by me handling this for this long and not being bitten at all, their venom is also harmless to humans, maybe causing some pain, irritation, redness, itchiness locally at the bite site, but nothing medically significant, like what something like a widow spider might do to you. These Argiope spiders are among some of the largest orb weaving spiders here in Florida. The only ones I see that get bigger than this are the golden silk orb weavers, the trichonephila, known colloquially as banana spiders. But just finally being able to find this species, as common as it is throughout North America, this being a very rare and special occurrence in South Florida, has led me to looking for this species every time I find abundances of Argiope species here in Florida. I'm always hoping that one might just be Arantia, and today I finally had the luck I've needed, and here it is, this beautiful black and yellow garden spider, Argiope Arantia. What a beautiful creature, and like I keep saying, if you see one of these in your yard, there is no need to be afraid. Taking a nice close-up look at it reveals just how beautiful it is, and how harmless it is to you as well. And besides that, they are also incredible at keeping pest insects away from your house. If you have this spider in your garden, chances are that web is going to ensnare all of the insects you don't want flying around. This right here, the black and yellow garden spider, is just one of the most beautiful spiders I have ever come across. So I feel like this is the right time to put this amazing species right back where we found it so we could keep eating flying insects here in this Florida scrub ecosystem. What an incredible surprise to come across this species.